I'm sure you know these functions, and I know how often you use these expressions. Let me show you how expensive they actually are. Firstly, I'm gonna walk you through our test place really quick. I have a basic script here that fires 1000 projectiles at once every second. I have a bullet template here. Current behavior is the script is cloning the bullet every time the shoot function is called, which is 1000 times every second. And each bullet instance is destroyed when its job is done. Alright, let's run the game. I'm gonna open micro profiler by hitting Ctrl F6. Each bar represents a frame and its workload, so these spikes are the FPS drops. To identify the cause, I'm hitting Ctrl P to pause the micro profiler. I'm gonna left click on the spike to see what's taking so long. This frame is obviously one of those that I'm firing 1000 bullets. I'm gonna zoom in until I can read what it says. As you see, invoking clone method and setting the parent property takes significant amount of time. What if I never destroy bullets, create them once, reuse them, keep them in workspace ready to go. But how am I gonna do that? Solution Object Pools Object pools let you bypass object creation bottlenecks, feed it a template, set the size, add callbacks if needed, and let them do the heavy lifting for you. The implementation is simple. All you need is a constructor to create the pool, a method to get an object from the pool, another to return an object to the pool, and finally one more method to clear the pool. This implementation is aimed to teach you the concept. You may have different callbacks and a different logic to handle pool exhaustion. I suggest you not to ignore the callbacks because they can come in handy. Luckily, my script has an object pool mod that does exactly what I said earlier. The bullet pool creates the 1000 bullets and instantly puts them all into workspace and it disables their trails when returned to the pool to avoid a visual glitch. So I'm gonna flip this value to true. What it does is to alter the get bullet and clear bullet behavior to use the bullet pool. I'm hitting play now. We don't see spikes anymore because it works like a charm. If you're suffering bottlenecks like this, it really takes 2 minutes to fix. You get one time CPU cost and persistent memory usage, but in return, your average FPS increases significantly. It's hands down one of the best trades you can ever make in a situation like this. Alright, that's a wrap for today. You can find the model link in the description. Also, I'm gonna share the place file under the resources section in my Discord channel. What patterns do you want explained next? Drop a comment down below. And as always, thanks for watching. Have a nice day.